and being single mother, single child. Uh-huh. Like people always say that, you know, these are all myths which we need to <laughs> yeah, make it yeah. clear. Hum do, hamare do. When they have two, they'll be balanced. But there are the situation, people are happy to have one yeah, kid. Absolutely. Do you think it's there very is a tough no, time? Yeah. There is no scientific proof. Yes stating that a child will be any less of a human hmm. being hmm. if they don't grow up with a sibling. People always this have this myth, I yeah. think they should be removed. It is a yeah. cultural thing. Yeah. It is a cultural thing because parents feel like dono saath mein khelenge. Like, you know, they will play together. They will see each other. We don't have to involve too hmm. much. But I am a, I'm a parent hmm. of a single child. Hmm. It's a lot more effort, hmm. for sure. Like, you know, I take my son for trekking and hiking. The sister work you have to do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You and, you know, take, <laughs> yeah, take them for music classes, you talk to them, hmm. play board games with yes, them, yes. teach them other, uh, some new games. Hmm. So you become a little bit of a friend. Yes. It's definitely a lot more work for a parent. Maybe that's why they say, hum do, hamare do. Haan. But there's no scientific proof Haan. saying that single child will be any less of a human being. Of course, I mean, yeah. the mental development or something it's all, it's, it's all absolutely myth, I think. yeah it's it doesn't myth. work like that <laughs> no, not at all uh, recently ma'am this i want to know about this like when a woman go to a stress levels like as we are going now there's mm-hmm. more of on the stress levels yeah. and how you take this uh, recent uh, incidents happen in goa like she was not mentally okay uh, and this murder case happened yes, no yes. mother can do that no like we all mothers when heard this it's she impossible. can die herself, but not can touch that. You know, we are being like, I, don't, course, I mean, when you course. become a mother, you know, Absolutely. you will not eat, but make your No, no, child yeah, eat. no mother will ever do that to so his own, her own child. it was a big shock for the society. It was a big shock for all the mothers there. Mm. And they all mothers are keeping a voice and she can't do that. Mm. What do you think it has gone through her as a mother? Definitely, see, they say your mind can become your own enemy. If you yes. don't handle it properly. Hence... They are also <coughs> saying, uh, the WHO in fact is mm. saying that there could be a mental pandemic. So there will be s- at least one in every ten people who will not have the rationalized thinking of how to live their life. It's becoming a pandemic because of the fast lives, mm. because of the bad heating habits, because of pollution, or because, because of stressed life, and because of no of exercise. Also, yeah, no exercise or no, you know, like rest time, you know, like the nice six to eight hours of sleep. Mm. In fact, CEOs are more stressed than the normal employees, honestly, because yes. they have much more responsibility upon them. So the only solution, Neha, is health, health and health, mental health, physical health. See, whatever you do in your life, you do with you do it with your body, body and your and mind. mind. If you're neglecting these two, how can you function well in the True. you know outside world? <laughs> it is a basic fundamental question you have to ask. If you're not eating today, time nahi, main khaungi nahi. Uh, you know, kuch project hai, main ghante soke mein jaungi. Like, what are you trying to do? Like, you're compromising the fundamentals of your life to do something outside which will eventually fail. Yes. Because body and mind is what you. That's all you have. Yes. If you don't focus on that everything will fall apart you know mental pandemic is on a rise so it's become very important for everyone to focus on their mental and physical health it is said in one of the books i recently read you don't need to train one hour every day even if you can do 20 minute sessions thrice a week Mm. you can moderately considerably be on a healthy body side Mm. i think that is too less for us to even fight for Mm. and just 15 minutes of just sit with yourself, contemplate how you're thinking, how you're feeling, why you're feeling the way you're feeling, why am I repeating the same mistake, why is this pattern within me? If you introspect who you are as a person, what is bothering you, what changes you need to make, we don't have time for that. Utke, we are running, 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 doing one after the other. Where is the time to understand and, you know, like find peace and heal yourself? So, whatever happens in the world, whichever generation comes, social media or uh, artificial Mm -hmm. intelligence, whatever changes happen in the world, if you don't focus on your mental health and physical health, no matter what you go out and try to do in the life, Mm -hmm. it will probably have a small spurt of success, but it cannot sustain. But ma'am, I just wanted to know, eagerly wanted to know the kind of knowledge you have and you've been working on yourself. Yes. There was a point you learned yourself or somebody inspired you in your life to work on yourself or from your uh, <laughs> college days or childhood you were conscious about yourself and you continued there so health has always been a priority, priority for your starting like because i've seen my father he's an athlete okay and he's been a uh, andhra pradesh that time we have andhra pradesh only so andhra pradesh diving champion 
and he played every single sport under okay. the sun. Okay. So I used to see him train and you know he would talk about what it can do to mm -hmm. the body. So that was instilled in me. Okay. So then also my husband also is physically very very fit and uh, we both have been training from 21 years together. Oh. So then only when you f feel the health of the body inside you cannot stop it because the way the body feels when you keep it in a certain condition you don't want to go back to that lethargic slow dull body because you know this is how i can feel huh if i can feel this way why would i go back and feel lazy and sleepy yes, and yes. dull so that was always there i knew this is a formula to do more in life hmm. to be active in life to you know like uh, participate in life because mostly i've seen girls and women around like before marriage, we are more conscious and after marriage, we become like this. But your it journey, is, I think... See, see, that is again something mindset. that has been conditioned. Mm. You have to look good till you get married. Uske baad, kuch, kuch bhi ho jai. No one ever spoke about this, this. healthy lifestyle till the end of your life. Yes. They only said, shadi tak, you have to become slim. Shadi tak, you have to look pretty. Yes. So it's a mental conditioning. Please. Culturally, it's been instilled. So you have to learn Come out of that. and understand what is important and work on it not about so that's what i'm saying even meditation what it does is mm -hmm. all these conditionings that you've been given from mm -hmm. childhood you start seeing them and say damn this is how i'm behaving yes. because this has been told to me in the childhood but not right like i don't have to you know mm -hmm. work in that bracket so it becomes very important the self-awareness comes that's what i'm saying yes, right. self-awareness comes not because somebody taught you something, because you realize it yourself. Mm. Yeah. And ma'am, spiritually point, I want to connect with that. Oh. Mind health, when it's come to spirituality, mm. people always think puja hai, mantra <laughs> hai, or you go to the temple. But now the kind of spirituality is happening, it's something as you connect to yourself. Yes. The kind of spirituality you are doing and sending a awareness program right. through your messages, we've been watching that. Mm. Yeah. How, what what no, is spirituality? Spirituality has always been this. Hmm. So if you're doing puja, you're sitting in dhyana. Hmm. So again, you have time alone for your with yourself, hmm. and you have a sense of surrender. Hmm. Like when you know, even if you don't have an idol worship, if you're just sitting and praying, it has become praying means people have people are thinking praying means asking God. Hmm. Like it has become synonymous for pleading. Ye job. Puja karni hai. Ah, jo, no, even Haan. if you're sitting in puja. Recently, it's been asking God, but mm. it was never like that. Okay. When you're in a puja room, that means you're surrendering yourself okay. completely to higher power. Mm. It can be any God. It can be no form also. What you're saying is, I am surrendering myself and then you're introspecting your life. Mm. That gives you strength. Yes. So that is the process. So why did uh, ancients tell us to do puja? At least that's it. Apne saath time you mm. can spend. Mm. And when you spend alone time, so much can unravel in your mind. Mm. You learn so much about yourself. So that time was called puja, maybe. Mm. But now puja means promotion aana chahiye, bache ko, you know, ah, uh, seat aana chahiye, you know. You want a seat, you want a promotion, you want... Uh, Prasad dene aongi, I'll go to temple, yeah, I'll go so by the Yeah, so it's become stairs. a deal making with God. Mm. So that has no prominence. Probably. When I'm saying spirituality, spirituality has always been this, but we misinterpreted it over last few generations. Mm. So the one I'm talking about, spirituality means heightening your mental power, your physical and energy and emotional power. Mm. So when all are high, you will only do good, good in the world. And I think kids also the part when we, uh, we are focusing on them, do your education, you'll become something in huh. big in your life. The spirituality part I think should start at at a very age. young age. That was missing in last generation. Absolutely. We were not putting much pressure Emphasis. for the sp uh, spirituality Absolutely. point. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. See, now uh, mm. at our school, ACOM, mm. uh, we have a mindful class. Mm. Even for kids who are like two years, three years, they, they might. Their mind is open. open. Yeah. They're not even. Maybe they can't concentrate, but at least they know to sit in one place, not fidgeting, not wanting to do something yes. all the time. The 10 minutes to close. Yes. Like you're training your mind. Mm to sit by yourself and not get restless if you're not doing anything you know for these days if you ask a person to sit in the room and no tv no book no phone just sit with yourself for 20 minutes like big boss <laughs> they will big boss you have company you have fights all of that okay. <laughs> alone yeah. people will go crazy yes. 